all and welcome to today's video. We are deep into Vlogmas. Instead of doing 25 days of uploads for Vlogmas, I am doing 35 days of uploads. I started the Sunday before Thanksgiving and we are, listen, we are having a good time. I hope y'all are enjoying all the content. I'm going to be sharing with y'all today my monthly favorites and hate it. Once a month, I sit down with y'all and I review all the products that I've been testing and trying out. Some of these products I've been trying for well over a month and I wanna give you like my reviews on these products. Instead of just doing a favorites video, I wanna tell you the products that I just thought like were kinda meh, like they're good, not great, not favorites, products that didn't work for me. This is just the video where I review everything for y'all. I did recently post palette ranking videos. I do eyeshadow palettes in separate videos so that I can really like give you thorough reviews of everything. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, favorites and hate it. We are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I am uploading videos every single day right now for Vlogmas. So if you are looking for some fun makeup videos to watch, this is the place to be. I have so many things to share with y'all. I'm looking like this is kind of a mess in front of me. I have Melt Cosmetics, ColourPop, Lunar Beauty, Unearthly Cosmetics. I have Listen, a lot, a lot of things to review with y'all. I've been testing and trying these products and I finally have my full thoughts and I cannot wait to tell you all about them. So let's jump into it. off with the things from the ColourPop Nightmare Before Christmas collection. Now I already reviewed the palette in my palette ranking. I did a whole video swatching everything from the collection. I even put up an Instagram tutorial with the palette but I wanted to play more with some of the other things from the collection, specifically these Jelly Much shadows because I have never tried this formula from ColourPop. I know it's something that they've had around for a while and I just, I've never tried them. And let me just say, I wanna try more because I really enjoy this. I bought the three shades from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. I have Shock, which is the hot pink. I have Lock, which is the more purpley color, and the color I'm wearing today is Barrel. So I've worn all of these multiple times on my eyes now, and I have to say my favorite way to use these is before powder shadows. So I'll prime my eyes like what I did today with this shade. This is maybe my most favorite shade. It's that sparkly shade you see all over the lid. So I will prime my eyes with my eye primer and then I go in with my brush. I use this melt brush today and I put it where I want it and then I go in with my powder shadows. So all this sparkle that you see on my lid today is ColourPop The Nightmare Before Christmas Barrel. So this is like a cream shadow. It's it's like a moussey formula. I just put it on with the brush. I keep my eyes like I keep myself from opening and creating folds in my eyes for about 10 seconds. So I like put it on. I stay like this. It dries and then I go in with my powder shadows and I love it that way. I took my opal palette from BH mixed with this hot pink jelly much shadow beautiful. I just think these are so intense and pretty. The caps fit really tight and it has a little plastic cover over the top. So I don't think I'm going to have problems with these drying out, but I can definitely let y'all know if I see them drying out. Right now, they're just as good as the day I first got them and opened them and they've been working so well. So that's what you see all over my lid today. I will go ahead and tell you so I don't forget all the shadows you see are from the Glam Light Michaela palette. That's what I use with this beautiful Jelly Much formula. <laughs> I'm dropping things. Y'all know I'm always dropping things. 
I love these. I definitely recommend these if you're wanting to try like cream shadows. I, listen, next time ColourPop launches a collection, if the colors appeal to me, I'll definitely buy them because I've had fun playing with those. Okay, also from that Nightmare Before Christmas was the Master of Fright. Their uh, glitters, what do they call them? G Glitterly Obsessed. I have lots of these Glitterly Obsessed from ColourPop. I already knew I loved the formula and I love this one too. I was pretty confident when I tried it the first time that yes, it is the same great Glitterly Obsessed formula that I know and love, but I always like to review things after having them for a few weeks just to make sure that I can like really put my stamp of approval on things. And yeah, this one is amazing. I, my favorite way to wear glitter, if I'm gonna wear glitter, it's not a loose glitter, it's not a pressed glitter in a palette, like those are fine. But my favorite way is to wear like a glitter gel and those from ColourPop are so nice because I feel like I can put them on, they stay where I want them to stay and they don't crease my shadow, they just stay looking nice all day. So this one from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, really enjoy. Okay, also in that same collection was these liquid liners. I will just give you like a disclaimer, I am not a liquid liner expert. I want it to be black, I want it to dry down, I want it not to budge, and I want it to stay, basically. I'm not super hard to please. I do prefer a brush tip applicator as opposed to this, which is more a felt tip, like a marker. But this black one is really good. I'm wearing it today and I find myself reaching for this one a good bit. Very nice. Stays where I want it to stay. Doesn't fade. What more can I ask for? I'm not somebody who does a lot of winged liner. I have done winged liner with this and it worked out really nicely. There was also a white one in there. So this one with the pink lettering is a black. And then this one is white. I did use this in the video where I'm trying everything from the collection. And I just don't reach for a white a lot. It is nice to have in my collection, but I can't say like, oh my gosh, it's a favorite because I'm just not reaching for liquid liners every single day. So I like these. They're great to me, but you know, like if you're looking for a liquid liner, these are really nice. Like once this is done for, I could see myself repurchasing another one from ColourPop, but it's not like a must have for me, you know? Okay, aside from the palettes, I think if you were going to pick up anything from this collection, this is actually a favorite. This is the Oogie Boogie lipstick. This is so nice. I have reached for this so much. This shade, it's the shade I have on today with a little bit of a lip oil that I'll talk to you about in just a bit. This is a beautiful shade. I know a lot of people when this collection released were kind of disappointed that it wasn't like a green or something, but man, this nude shade is beautiful. This formula is beautiful. It's just a bullet cream lipstick that applies beautifully, is not drying, is opaque. It Listen, everything a bullet lipstick, like everything I want, this gives me. I also really like this red. I've worn this, I think, in a couple of videos now, but this is the Jack Skellington shade, and it is a beautiful red. Now, I bought the full collection. If I was buying things individually, I probably wouldn't buy this Sally shade. I don't wear colors like this a ton, but I am happy to have it. I just, you know, I don't reach for colors like that super, super often. The red is definitely more me and this nude shade, love. Overall, I'm super, super happy that I purchased the whole Nightmare Before Christmas collection. The only thing that was a dud for me <laughs> were these little stickers because they're very hard to get off. It's not that they won't stick. Like a lot of y'all were telling me to use lash glue. It's not that they won't stick. It's that they're hard to pick up even with tweezers or something. Um, but I did appreciate all your tips. I just, I mean, they came in the collection. I'm really not going to use these. 
Okay, another new collection I tried out this past month was the Melt Amora Mariposas collection. I did do a video of five looks using everything I bought from the collection. I didn't buy the full collection, but I did buy a lot of things. So you can definitely check out that video and I ranked the palette. So I'm going to talk to you kind of about everything else today. First off, I wanted to talk to you about the brushes. I don't like to review brushes unless I've tried them a lot. You tried them a lot. How can I explain it? Unless I've used them, washed them. Use them, wash them. Because I want to make sure they're not going to shed a ton. I want to make sure they're going to stay soft. All of that. These brushes are great. I kind of had a feeling they would be great because I bought the brushes last year that were a part of the Beetlejuice collection and I love those. I think they're very high quality and I think these are super high quality too. These are all clean. I wanted to keep some clean for y'all. These three I used in my eye look today. I used this flat one to apply the jelly much. I used this one to highlight my inner corner and I used this to buff in some of the purples that are on my eyes. I like the packaging. I think this butterfly is really cute. I like the gold with the red. I think, I mean, I'm really happy with my brush purchase. <laughs> brush purchase. These are really nice. Again, I've washed them, used them, washed them, used them, and they're soft, beautiful. Love them. Also from the Melt collection, I bought all three of the creams. They're different things, so I won't call them liners. Like, uh, this one is a hot pink. I love it. This is not a new formula to me. I have multiples of these types of products from Melt. These are just new shades. So these work just as well as the other ones I have. This is the Metal Bond Gel Liner. This is the shade that I'm wearing today, Calibri. I have this on my lower waterline and then I blend it in the lower lash line with the shade from that Glam Light Michaela palette. Beautiful. And then I have Estrello, which is the gold. I use this on my inner corner as a highlight. So pretty, but I love these. Again, this is not a new formula for me, but I wanted to let you know these are the same great quality that I expect from Melt. I also got the lip pencils from Melt. I already knew I liked this formula. These are great. The colors are beautiful, a purple, a red, and like a reddish pink color very beautiful the same great quality that i expect from melt i'm actually wearing one of the melt lip liners and cinnamon paired with that was it oogie boogie <laughs> lip color from color pop also from the melt collection was this blush palette i wanted to give you my thoughts on this because this was pretty pricey i was able to get it for 25 percent off when melt was doing their sale First of all, the packaging is beautiful. I love the butterfly on the front. I love that we get this mirror inside and there's butterfly details here. Everything about this palette feels very luxe to me. I was curious when I saw photos on Melt's site how it would be because I kind of felt like these all looked very toned down. But I like that we have three lighter shades. These two I use as blush toppers or glowy blushes. I actually have on this one right here kind of as a highlight today. I don't have a highlighter on. I just used this shade. These are very, very pigmented. So I feel like this palette will really work for a lot of people. It's very beautiful. One, two, three, four matte shades and then two super glowy shades. Well, this shade down here is not glowy, but it's not completely matte. I just love these. I actually am wearing this shade and this shade mixed today. That's the blush I have on. And then, like I said, I went over with this as kind of like a blush topper slash highlight in one. This is a pricey palette, but to me it's worth it. I really like Melt Complexion products that I've tried. So it's no surprise to me that I love this as well. Okay, I bought some lip oils. I have tried lip oils in the past and I felt like every formula I tried I just was not into so I thought about writing lip oils off I was like you know what it's just not a product for me but Colourpop launched the Mandalorian set I did do a video with these and my friend Angelica loves 
ColourPop lip, so, lip oils. So I was like, you know what, let me try this little duo. If they're terrible, at least they're cute packaging. I love these lip oils. Oh my gosh, these are so nice. Sometimes I, like the lip oils I tried in the past really felt like I rubbed my finger in olive oil when I was cooking dinner and like slathered it on. And I just didn't like that that heavy oily feeling these are a thin oil that feel very hydrating i've worn them over lip color i've worn them just with lip liner and this i've worn them alone and they feel so nice my lips feel nice and hydrated and i love them then sigma sent me a lip oil actually before before those sigma had sent me a lip oil not then i didn't Listen, this one came first. This one I'm wearing today under my lip color. Like when I sat down to get ready, I grabbed this Sigma lip oil. This is the Renew Lip Oil in Tranquil. Okay, Sigma sent me this and it took me a while to try it because I was like, I don't like lip oils. Like I'm going to give this away. But then I was like, you know what? Let me just try it again. It, it does remind me a lot of the ColourPop formula. But when I sit down to get ready, before I did anything, I put on the lip oil just to kind of nourish. And then I primed my face and then I did everything. Then I went in with my lip color and I feel like my lips just look so hydrated and nice. I'm into this. The Renew Lip Oil with jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E. Listen, love both of these. I don't think the formulas are super, super different. This one may be a smidge thicker than the ColourPop, but... Who am I? I'm a lip oil person now. These are favorites for sure. Okay, Alien Cosmetics, one of my favorite indie brands for sure. They are going through a rebrand and they have rebranded as Unearthly Cosmetics. So they sent me all, ah, I'm dropping these, all, it's too many, it's too many to hold, all of their new satin liquid lipsticks, okay? Every single one. And I tried these all on the lips. I did a lip swatch video. It's over on my Instagram. If you want to see how all the shades look on my lips, what the colors look like on me, all of that. It's over on Instagram. It has the shade names, everything. I love these satin liquid lips. I I love lip products. I love testing new lip products. I love trying new colors. I feel like it's such a fun way to like completely change a look depending on what color you go with you know I just I love lip products and these have a very faint scent alien said it is a vanilla banana scent it is very faint which I like it's not overpowering but I can smell it and I like that I have to say this shade right here Minerva this red shade so beautiful the formula of these is a satin liquid lip so it wears longer than a bullet lipstick like a bullet satin but it's not drying if you know those matte liquid lips I'm thinking of like the color pop liquid lipsticks they used to have way back when that you put them on and they like dried you out so fast that is not this these are satin so you can do like this if I drink from a straw or something a little will transfer but they are going to stay on my lips I decided to do an experiment with where is she this shade right here Samantha I love this this is like a red pink I wore this to work I do work in a hospital <laughs> I only work one to two days a week, but I work at a hospital, which means I am wearing a mask on my face from the time I park in the parking lot and step out of my car to the time I step back in my car. So I had this on for about nine hours underneath a mask and I had eaten lunch. I had eaten snacks. I had worked all day and I still had color on my lips, but my lips did not feel dry at all i remember i was even marco poloing my friend linda over at glitter fallout and i was i took my mask off because i got back in the car and i was chatting with her and i was like girl look at this this is a satin liquid lipstick and it's still there i still had it wasn't blotchy it wasn't dry looking but i still had pigment on my lips with the shade samantha and i was like sold i think i did that like the day after i got these to test them and i've been in love ever since this shade right here angela this kind of purpley 
it's so different and fun. I love it. I wore this. I wore this in a video recently. I can't remember which video, but I just loved it. And the tops, I don't know if you can tell, the tops are like like a snow globe. You know how you shake a snow globe and snow goes everywhere? It's like that, but it's with like purple and black glitter and little stars in there. I mean, I'm easily entertained. So I'm like moving this and I'm like, ooh, is that stars and moons? Like it's so, so pretty. I just love it like it's so fun I'm sure y'all can see on the caps like how it just changes back and forth it's really fun I like the packaging the shades are very fun like there's a bright orange there's some like olive undertoned browns in here that I really like again you'll definitely have to check out my lip swatch video I would say if I had to pick like one shade that I wear the most it's probably Kalina which is more like this brown shade I just I love brown type of lips so I reach for this one a lot but I also really like that I can mix these shades I have done that quite often to where I'll put one on and then I'll put another one on and I'll kind of blend them in so I like that these can be mixed and match I know unearthly also has lip swatches on their website so I will link that down below I'll actually link down below everything but I'm really excited that they sent me all the shades <laughs> so I could try them all out sorry I'm just over here dropping anything and everything in front of me okay I think the last thing I have to review for y'all are the things that I got from Lunar Beauty so Lunar Beauty released their outer dimension collection and I just bought everything okay I bought everything and let me talk first about the Outer Dimension Face Palette. I was very excited about this because not only do I love Lunar Beauty, I love the blush palette. Manny said these were going to be that same formula. I love the packaging. But I was excited to try a face palette. It's been a while since I've had a palette like this. So there's a beautiful mirror inside. I did do a video with like my first impressions on this palette. And I have not put this palette up. This has stayed in front of me and I have worn these bronzers every time I've done my makeup since I've got this palette, which kind of surprises me. This is the one I've been reaching for a ton. I really enjoy this. This is the shade I use most or mixed with this shade. This shade I can use a tiny bit. If I take just a tiny bit to deepen up right back here to give me a little more chisel to the face. I really enjoy this. I will say I don't really like these powders under the eyes. I have tried them that way. I have used these shades a lot to highlight the inner corner or if I just need a little highlight down here and here and I don't want something intense, I'll take a little bit and I'll just kind of dot, 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 dot to brighten up a little bit. So I've been getting a ton of use out of this palette. I really, really enjoy it. I am somebody who likes to mix and match, you know, just like with the Melt Blush Palette. I like to kind of dip my brush in multiple shades and play like it's fun to me. It's fun to be a little creative and dip into things and kind of make my own custom shade. And I've really enjoyed that palette for this reason because I, I do like to do that. It's just fun to mix. Again, this white shade is what I have on my inner corner. I've been reaching in here a lot for kind of inner corner highlight shades. Okay, also with that Outer Dimension collection were new lip gloss shades. I feel like I've raved so much about Lunar Beauty lip glosses, but if you are new here, this is my favorite lip gloss formula of all time is the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Glosses, and I love their liquid lipsticks already. I already knew that. I already knew that, so that's just my mini review. Same formula that I know and love. And I wanted to give you a quick review on the brushes. Now that I've used them, washed them, used them, washed them, used them, washed them, I can tell you I really enjoy the blush brushes. <laughs> These are high quality brushes. I did have the eye brush set from Lunar Beauty that he launched, I think around this time last year. And I've loved those. I've used those a ton. These are the same great quality. This brush though, if you want to know like Heather, what's one brush from the set you love the most, it's this one. This shape is pretty unique to my collection. This is the LBF1 and my favorite thing to do is to take it with my NYX high glass powder and kind of set my face with this. It's very soft. The shape is good. It's so big that I can set my face really quickly. 
This is the favorite. Um, I don't, this, okay, I love this brush. I love this brush. I don't love dual ended brushes really, which I feel like is kind of an unpopular opinion. I know so many people love dual ended brushes. I like to store my brush like in a holder standing up and I can't really do that with this one without it getting smushed. So if I had to say like a least favorite, it would be this one just because it's dual ended. But I mean, you can tell I use this. So I do like the actual brushes. All the brushes in the collection I really like I enjoy I've used a ton these are just the three I have in front of me because I think the rest need to be washed which these kind of need to be washed too don't they all right y'all thank you so so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed this video I love doing these favorites and hate it's videos for y'all where I can give you my full thoughts because I love like showing y'all when I get new stuff. I love trying things, but I always want to come back and give you my full review once I've really put these things to the test. So I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you again for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, share this video with your friends, family, social media, anybody who you think would enjoy my content. It honestly helps me out so, so much when y'all share my videos, but I will see y'all tomorrow in another one. Bye.